Welcome back to the Stoic Code, where we dive deep into philosophical insights that resonate with our daily lives. Teleology and final causes are foundational concepts in Aristotle's philosophical framework. They shape his understanding of the natural world and human existence, offering profound insights into purpose and fulfillment. Subscribe to the Stoic Code to explore more philosophical concepts and join our community of seekers. Like the video and share your thoughts in the comments below. Aristotle believed that everything in the universe has a purpose or end goal, a concept known as teleology. This principle suggests that objects and organisms possess inherent tendencies or inclinations toward certain ends. For Aristotle, understanding the final causes of things, their ultimate purposes or goals, is essential for grasping their true nature. In Aristotle's view, final causes are intimately connected to the concept of form or essence. Each object or organism has a specific form that determines its function and purpose. By uncovering these final causes, we gain insight into the underlying principles that govern the natural world. Teleology and final causes also play a central role in Aristotle's ethical and political philosophy. He believed that humans, like all beings, have a telos, an ultimate purpose or goal, that guides their actions and choices. For Aristotle, the highest good for humans is to live a life in accordance with virtue and reason, achieving eudaimonia or flourishing. In summary, teleology and final causes are integral to Aristotle's philosophical system, providing a framework for understanding the purpose and meaning inherent in the world around us. By exploring these concepts, we gain deeper insights into the nature of reality and our place within it, guiding us on a path toward wisdom and fulfillment. The doctrine of the golden mean is a central tenet of Aristotle's ethical philosophy. It advocates for moderation and balance in all aspects of life, teaching that virtue lies in finding the middle ground between extremes of behavior or emotion. Aristotle believed that every virtue is a mean between two vices, one of excess and one of deficiency. For example, courage is the mean between recklessness and cowardice, while generosity is the mean between extravagance and stinginess. By practicing the golden mean, individuals can cultivate virtuous character traits and lead a life of moral excellence. This principle is not only theoretical, but practical, providing a guide for ethical decision-making and behavior. It encourages individuals to consider context and circumstances when determining the virtuous course of action, recognizing that what is moderate and balanced may vary in different situations. The doctrine of the golden mean invites us to strive for harmony and equilibrium in our lives, avoiding both excess and deficiency. It challenges us to cultivate self-awareness and self-control, recognizing our tendencies towards extremes and consciously choosing the path of virtue. Through the practice of the golden mean, we can lead lives of balance, integrity and fulfillment, embodying the timeless wisdom of Aristotle's ethical philosophy. The Four Causes are a fundamental concept in Aristotle's philosophy, providing a comprehensive framework for understanding the nature of things in the world. These causes include the material cause, the formal cause, the efficient cause, and the final cause. The material cause refers to the material or substance out of which something is made. It is the stuff or matter that constitutes the physical existence of an object or event. The formal cause pertains to the form or structure of a thing, which determines its essence or identity. It represents the blueprint or design that gives a particular object its distinctive characteristics. The efficient cause is the agent or force responsible for bringing something into existence or causing a change. It is the immediate source of action that produces an effect or result. The final cause is the ultimate purpose or goal towards which something tends or strives. 
It represents the end or telos that gives meaning and direction to the existence or function of an object or event. Together, the four causes provide a comprehensive explanation of why things are the way they are. They offer a holistic perspective that takes into account both the material and immaterial aspects of reality, as well as the processes and purposes that shape the world. For example, consider a statue. Its material cause is the marble out of which it is carved. Its formal cause is the sculptor's design or idea. Its efficient cause is the sculptor who carves it. And its final cause is the aesthetic or symbolic purpose it serves. By analyzing things in terms of their material, formal, efficient and final causes, Aristotle sought to uncover the underlying principles that govern the natural world. This approach laid the foundation for his systematic inquiry into physics, metaphysics and natural philosophy, influencing Western thought for centuries to come. The Importance of Virtue and Eudaimonia In Aristotle's ethical philosophy, virtue and eudaimonia, often translated as happiness or flourishing, stand as paramount ideals, guiding individuals toward a life of fulfillment and moral excellence. Virtue, for Aristotle, is not merely a matter of following rules or achieving external success, but rather a state of character cultivated through habitual action and moral deliberation. It encompasses qualities such as courage, temperance, justice and wisdom, which enable individuals to navigate life's complexities with integrity and dignity. Eudaimonia, on the other hand, represents the highest good for humans, a state of flourishing in which individuals realize their full potential and lead lives of purpose and meaning. Unlike fleeting pleasures or external accolades, eudaimonia is an enduring form of well-being that arises from living in accordance with virtue and reason. For Aristotle, virtue and eudaimonia are intrinsically linked. One cannot achieve true flourishing without cultivating virtuous character traits and vice versa. Virtue serves as the means by which individuals attain eudaimonia, while eudaimonia serves as the end or ultimate goal of virtuous living. The importance of virtue and eudaimonia extends beyond individual well-being to encompass the broader social and political realms. Aristotle believed that a virtuous society is one in which citizens cultivate moral excellence and work together toward the common good. In such a society, justice prevails and individuals are able to live harmoniously with one another, contributing to the flourishing of the community as a whole. Ultimately, the importance of virtue and eudaimonia lies in their capacity to guide individuals toward a life of moral integrity, personal fulfillment and communal harmony. By cultivating virtuous character traits and striving for eudaimonia, Individuals can lead lives of meaning and purpose, contributing to the betterment of themselves and society as a whole. As we conclude our exploration of the importance of virtue and eudaimonia in Aristotle's philosophy, remember that the journey of self-discovery and moral growth is ongoing. Your engagement with these timeless concepts is vital. Subscribe to The Stoic Code for more enriching discussions on philosophy and practical wisdom. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your participation fuels our collective quest for wisdom and virtue.